welcome back to my channel i am so excited to have you guys back here with me as usual it is always a joy always a pleasure always an honor to have you guys join me on this channel uh, and it is my prayer that everybody is doing well everybody is enjoying great health everybody's having and making the best out of life i don't know why i'm so excited today probably it's because i'm filming way past midnight which is something that normal people do not do singing in the middle of the night busy disturbing the neighbors but anyway nobody's trying to be normal But I'm actually really excited to share with you today's topic. It's something that I, I'm really passionate about. If you're like me, you like to wake up and actually have a really nice day, intentionally have a really nice day. I have a few, I have a few points that I want to share with you guys, which are really important in trying to guide your day to living it out as best as you can. There are points that I try to follow every now and then, not necessarily all of them, but I feel like uh, either one of them helps me live out my day in the best way possible. And if I can tick off any of these by the end of the day, the better is to actually tick all of them off of my list by the end of the day. But if I can tick off any of these uh, and satisfactorily, satis and satisfactorily, ah, and satisfactorily say that i've actually achieved either of these i i feel like i have i feel like i can sleep very peacefully and i'm always ready to wake up and deal with another day the first question is how do i want to be remembered or in short how do i want to make people feel if you think about it at the core of every human being are emotions emotions are a very huge part of our human composition and whether you are a man or a woman whether you feel like you're emotionless every single person has emotions our instant reaction to any any external stimuli is always expressed through emotions be it anger or fear or worry anxiety joy or happiness frustration desire interest so many so many emotions that i can come up with and even the basis of a human composition are emotions that means they're a huge part of each and every one of our lives and my biggest desire is always to at least make someone feel nice about the day, about their life, about whatever it is that may come to mind. Some people go about their day thinking that it is not their responsibility how other people feel. But if you think about it, in your daily interactions, if you make a habit of minding what you do, and that is your actions, your words, or lack thereof, if you do something special for people, if you actually add value to people's lives in some sort of way, or if you provoke a positive outlook in life for someone, or probably just like helping them find solutions, by the end of the day you inspire the right emotions in people, emotions of joy, of happiness, of just feeling satisfied and calm and at peace. And I feel like that's a really, really important thing to do. If somebody were asked to describe to describe you in some sort of way and the only thing they said is like mm, uh, she's okay or he's okay or he is a horrible person i feel like you'd have uh, either sold yourself short or you walk about your day not necessarily minding other people and how they feel but if somebody can define you by saying she's very kind she makes me feel comfortable she makes me feel happy or he he makes me laugh if somebody can define you not just in who you are but in how you make them feel i feel like you're actually doing life right. Regardless of who you are, if you're an employer, if you are a teacher, if you are a spouse or a partner, if you are a colleague, a sibling, a parent, a child, whatever it is that you are, if you go about your day thinking of how you want to be remembered or how you want someone else to, to feel, that's taking up a responsibility of actually caring for other people and it is only in taking care of other people that you're actually going to have a good day yourself the second question is what difference did it actually make that i lived out today i know this is a hard question uh it's a hard question to ask but it's also very important because there's a difference between you who has lived out this day and someone who did not actually get to see today or live out today and this primarily falls in you finding value and purpose in each and every day in the little things and in the big things uh, you ask yourself questions like am i better than i was yesterday did i add value in not just my life but in someone else's life did i learn something new 
if you evaluate yourself like this by the end of the day you're going to be able to map out your next day and you actually establishing what you can do better in the following day third question that is so 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 absolutely important is what am i grateful for if there's anything that can change your life it's asking yourself what you're grateful for on a daily not even not even on a daily basis but literally literally every moment in a day that you find to ask yourself what you're grateful for or just be grateful changes everything because gratitude is an attitude that changes everything if you wake up uh, and just find random things to thank god for wake up and thank him for the fact that you actually woke up for comfortable bed for sleeping for a whole eight hours if you sleep for eight hours or just having a very peaceful night thank god for light thank god for birds for whatever it is that you thank god for it is undoubtedly the best way to turn a bad situation around and not just a bad situation but turn a bad day around gratitude always comes from a point of abundance if you know you have a lot within you a grateful heart always reflects abundance it's a direct reflection of uh, the many things you have in your life and doesn't have to be material things it's just health peace of mind uh, joy the gift of friends gift of family gift of a good job every every single thing that you can think about and not even necessarily in good situations but even in bad situations but gratitude is one of the ways that you can turn any situations around hands down 100 percent guaranteed that it can do that and the good thing about gratitude is that it's it leads to more positive experiences whenever you're grateful kind of tunes or programs your mind to be positive and that definitely and that automatically leads to another positive experience and another positive experience and another positive experience not just in your life but also in someone else's life i personally like to be very very practical when it comes to gratitude because whenever you do something very practically it becomes more real in your life so what i do is that every now and then i try to write thank you notes to my friends for whatever reason not necessarily notes it can be text as well uh, that's one two i like to write down the things that i'm grateful for and i have kind of like a jar that i call my gratitude jar which i drop in handwritten notes that i've written throughout the day about anything that i'm grateful for anything anything that i'm grateful for it can be from the most stupidest of things to a really important thing because when you look back at those notes later on either in the course of the week or the course of the month or whatever down the year if you go through these notes and see the things that you've been grateful for it takes you through some of your highest moments and it is so it's so it's so rewarding when you go through the notes that you've written down and see what other people have done to you what god has done to you what uh things you actually really really appreciated and that's a really good form of encouragement even in the times that you're feeling down I think this is going to be a separate video that I'm probably going to do at some point maybe after this on how I make my gratitude jars it can be a gratitude jar it can be a box just a standard box where you put in notes uh, where you put in notes that you refer to later later on it can even just be a notebook where you write down uh, the things that you want to be grateful for but so long as you're practically writing it down when you come back and look at it it's going to uplift you in whatever situation or down moment that you're having and if you actually feel like snoop dogg and want to appreciate yourself for some of the things that you do by all means nobody's going to stop you go ahead and appreciate yourself last but not least i want to thank me <laughs> i want to thank me for believing in me go ahead and appreciate yourself and just feel good about that moment fourth question is how different will my life be in a year so this is a bit of a different question because it's a question that you don't necessarily ask yourself on a daily basis it's something that you think about in remembrance to probably goals that you made at the beginning of the year or if you usually make vision boards it's um, something that you ask yourself in regards to anything that you've written down on the vision on your vision board either your goals anything that you had planned on changing in your life if you're working on any bucket list if you had any plans like doing the big job and finally going natural if you wanted to start a business if you're working on establishing some boundaries in whatever area in your life so this question you ask yourself 
uh, in reference to those goals and what you're doing on a daily basis to actually uh, evaluate or self-evaluate and see where you are at at this point in time. If you ask yourself questions based on any of these points that I've listed, then there's going to be some sort of guideline in how you live out every day. And by the end of the day, you can tick off again any anything. You can tick off again anything that you've achieved in reference to the goals that you set either at the beginning of the year or at whatever time that you had made these goals. Another really, really important question is what am I doing to invest in the relationships in my life? Any of these relationships can be my family, my friends, anyone that you are actually in a relationship with. Because really one of the most important ways to live out life and live out a really exciting and interesting life is living life in relation to other people. And if you have relations with other people, of course, you have to build those relationships and really invest in them so that you can maintain them and actually grow them. And some of the other important uh, supporting questions to this question is, am I spending quality time with the people that I'm in relation, the people that I'm in relation with? Who do I need to call or text or visit, hang out with, go shopping with, dinner, movie, whatever it is? Uh, something else you can ask yourself is, am I being consistent? Am I making do with whatever promises that I make? Am I being reliable? Am I being loyal? Am I being faithful? All these things that are in connection to relationships. If you ask yourself these questions on a daily basis, you're going to invest a lot. You're going to have invested a lot in the relationships that you make. And that goes to show how much you love and you value the people that you have in your life. And the sixth question that is so important, so, so important to me is what will I do today to share my faith and what I believe in? You know, I had someone say that sometimes people really like to talk about God. And honestly, the reason behind that is very simple. Think about this. If you find a treasure that is so precious or a source of nourishment that just keeps on giving and never runs out or a wonder that never ceases to amaze, wouldn't you want to share that? Wouldn't you want someone else to actually experience what you're experiencing? And especially when you know that it's available for anyone and everyone, would you really not want to share that with people? Even in the slightest, in the slightest of ways. It's honestly such a joy for me to share my belief in God and in Jesus. And it's such a privilege and an honor for me to share the beauty that comes from a relationship with the creator of the entire universe, of the world, everything in it. I like to share about my source of joy, my source of peace, my source of happiness, where I get my identity from, where I find my purpose, where I find my everything basically. Because honestly for me this is sharing something that has a lasting value. And in sharing this, you never know whose life you change, you never know what answers and solutions you provide for people. And most importantly, most important above anything else, the reason for sharing my belief and my faith is that you never know whose eternal destiny you will have changed. And I think this is one of the best ways to live out your life. I mean, if you never get to do anything you think that is huge or important, if you, if you share that thing that you actually really, really believe in and it gets to change someone else's life, and this is in reference to a belief in God, you can rest assured you've done one of the most important things that anyone could have ever done. That's it for today's video, guys. I am happy to have shared some of these points with you. I hope that you can pick from any of these points and it's my prayer that it's going to be of some benefit to you. And I'd also like to hear from you guys in whatever it is that you do on a daily basis to kind of elevate you or change your day or help you make the right decisions or just generally guide you throughout the day. Feel free to share that in the comment section. I'd really, really appreciate to see that. And... That's it for now. See you on my next video. Bye. What are you doing?